Hey folks, uh, Dr. White here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, building a circuit in Tinkercad with the Arduino. And then we're also going to add some code to it to get it to do uh, make a LED blink. So I'm going to take you through the, uh, the process uh, in Tinkercad and then also how to make the, uh, the block code so you can actually make it do some interesting stuff. So uh, this is the uh, the Tinkercad. If you don't have an account, uh, you should uh, sign up. Tinkercad is a super uh, cool tool to get introduced to uh, circuits and 3D design and stuff like that. So uh, sign up for, for Tinkercad, uh, click on the circuits menu, uh, and then you're gonna create a, a new circuit. Um, we did this in lesson 9.2, so you should already be kind of uh, uh, set up if if not. Uh, you're going to want to add an LED, a resistor, your breadboard, and you're going to want to connect it using the connection shown here. Okay, so just a little review. Uh, this is an Arduino. Um, we're using our Arduino as basically a battery right now. We've got the five volt power going and charging the uh, positive side of our uh, power bus on the on the breadboard, and we've got the uh, ground that's connected to the negative. Okay, We've, we're connecting the resistor to the positive and then to the long leg of the LED. It's straddling uh, rows eight and nine, uh, sorry, eight and seven here. And then uh, we connect seven to our uh, negative side. And if we start the simulation, okay, you should see that we can power up our LED. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you're good with this step first before going on for the through the rest of this uh, tutorial. This is lesson 9.2. Uh, on my channel. All right, so now we're going to talk about how to make this LED do some more interesting stuff. We want the LED uh, to blink, meaning uh, let's think about what blinking means, right? We're going to turn the LED on. It's going to wait and stay on for some amount of time, and then we're going to turn the LED off and let it wait and stay off for some amount of time, and then we want to loop it back so it turns back on again. To do this, we're going to need uh, the digital side of our, uh, our Arduino, which is on the right-hand side of the Arduino. I'm gonna get rid of these connections here, these power uh, connections, and we're gonna go through and uh, let's use the five pin to connect up our, uh, our Arduino, okay? So what digital means is that uh, these pins are either on or off, okay? Uh, there's only two choices for these pins. We can tell the Arduino to turn the pin on, which means electricity is going to flow, or off, which means electricity is not going to flow. So I'm going to take my five pin, I'm going to connect it to my positive side of my breadboard, and then uh, I'm going to turn that red just for uh, to keep things clear. And then I'm going to take my ground, and I'm going to connect it to the negative side. So we have the same circuit that we had set up before, only now our power is not coming from our uh, our uh, five volt constant power and now it's coming from the uh, the digital side okay uh, now if i hit start simulation nothing's going to happen because i haven't told the arduino to actually turn pin five on so i actually need uh, uh, to do that right so th this is how we're going to uh, do it this is what we're going to talk about in this tutorial okay so what you need to do is you're going to hit the code button that's up here on the top right. It's already has some code in there. This is the code for the LED. Um, I'm going to get rid of uh, the for the, the, for the built in LED. I'm going to get rid of this. OK, and all of these blue, uh, these are called blue code blocks. OK, and they're command functions. They basically tell the Arduino to do something. We're going to select this second command function, which is set pin zero to high. OK, and then we can talk about what uh, what we're going to uh, do with this. Right. So if you look at this command function here, uh, it's, it says set pin. Now we get to choose the pin that we want to specify. So let's do five. OK, so because we're talking about pin five and we're going to set pin five to high. High means on. OK. And if we set pin to low, low means off. Right. So remember, two states in the digital uh, pins. High, which means on, electricity is flowing. Low, which means off, electricity is not flowing. I'm going to select set pin five to high. Now, if we start our simulation, you could predict that, yes, 
uh, electricity is flowing because we turn pin five on, right? It's flowing through our circuit and we're turning the LED on, okay? But we want to make it blink, so let's add to our code, okay? There's a bunch of different stuff that you can have Arduino do for you, okay? One of which is you can have your Arduino kind of keep track of time and wait if you want the Arduino to wait. So what we're going to do is we're going to set pin five to high. We're going to wait one second, all right? And then we're going to come back to our output. We're going to select another set pin command, but we're going to set pin five, right? We're still talking about five, but now we're going to set it to low, right? So what are we doing here? Set pin five to high, wait one second, and then we're going to turn pin five off. The LED should come off, okay? Now, we do need to put one more wait function in here because this is actually going to loop back and repeat if we tell it, unless we tell it not to, okay? So set pin five to high, turn it on, wait a second, turn it off by setting the pin five to low, wait a second, and then it's gonna come back around and set pin five to high again. And that's gonna give us our blink functionality. So let's go ahead and start the simulation. And you can see that we have our, uh, our blinking light, okay? So um, this is, sort of the next level, right? Besides just using our Arduino as a battery. And now we've got the Arduino actually uh, doing some more interesting things to the electricity that's running through our, uh, our circuits, okay? And if you look around in everyday life, you're gonna see lights that blink. That's all that's happening is, is the circuit that's inside powering that light is turning off and on. There's some computer that's controlling it, okay? Now, for the challenge for today, I wanted to give you guys a challenge. Okay, now that you know how to turn a uh, an LED light on and off, I'm going to challenge you to make a stoplight, right? A stoplight is nothing but a series of uh, green, yellow, and red lights that turn on and off. I want you guys to try to code for your stoplight, okay? Here's the wiring diagram. If you wanna use this, uh, that's completely uh, fine. But see if you can wire it up and then do the code, all right? Here we're gonna be talking about pin eight, pin nine, and pin 10, setting those to low or high based on what you wanna do, okay? So hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Um, we are, uh, next, next time we're gonna be talking about doing something a little bit more uh, uh, complex with the, with the Arduino circuits.